Hey Gemini, uh, welcome back. So this video is for you. This is your reading uh, for Wednesday. So we're gonna we're gonna jump in and get started here. We'll see what does the universe have to say to Gemini. So what do you got for Gemini today, universe? What advice? What messages? What affirmations? Maybe warnings? What do you got to tell? Gemini today. And they're starting to jump around in my hand here, so I think I think she's about ready to talk. This one seems to want to come out. So recognition and reward. We're gonna start with that guy and keep building. We got authority, hope, the third eye chakra, which um to me to me is sort of about your intuition and trusting that inner voice. An accelerated motion. So I feel like I feel like in this read the authority um, speaks to speaks to your inner strength, your um, your assertiveness, um, and taking taking control of your life, uh, taking control of the direction that your life is going in. A third eye, uh, maybe trusting your intuition more instead of second guessing yourself um it looks like the recognition and reward might be uh, something that's coming your way because you've done all the work here um also accelerated motion so it looks like things are going to be either changing or sort of manifesting uh very quickly for you in the future here let's keep going i got rejoice and celebration spiritual union power um, the heart chakra, which can mean relationships. I got trapped in fear as well. To me, that trapped in fear feels like, uh, it feels like a warning in relation to all the cards that I've gotten so far. Um, okay, I'm getting an impression from this, but I'm not sure if I should say it out loud until I get, until I get, um, more cards to sort of back it up. Um, I'm going to deal a few more cards before I say it out loud. Um, Okay, so the impression that I got, the impression that I got was a wedding. Um, I got the world card. Um, a world tends to speak of of um, big, positive, exciting changes in your life. Uh, the Ace of Wands, which also speaks to um, a new beginning. Uh, Knight of Swords, which can speak to things changing quickly. It sort of goes with this accelerated, um, accelerated motion. Um, it speaks to uh, changes happening that happen so fast they almost feel chaotic, the energy. Um, the Two of Wands um, tends to speak to, it has a dual meaning, it can speak of um, choosing, choosing a path or having to make a choice about a path, but it also speaks of a partnership as well. Um, I almost feel like this speaks to um, um, this relationship, this union, this celebrating, um, and maybe the change that's going to be coming in your life because of it, and that it might feel a little chaotic. Um, I'm going to pull a few more cards, so I just want to see where this is going. Um, so I got the Ace of Cups, uh, which also tends to represent new beginnings and has to do, um, sometimes it can represent a new relationship, but I believe, I believe it's speaking of this, this, this spiritual union, this relationship that, um, the Oracle cards are talking about. Um, I got the Seven of Cups as well, uh, which speaks of, of many choices, 
So it also speaks of choosing choosing wisely, choosing your path wisely. Um, and the Nine of Wands, which speaks to it speaks to a lot of um, sort of I don't know if I want to say battles that you're fighting, um, but definitely um, triumphs um, along the way over different obstacles and sort of progression. Um, it, it speaks to it not being easy. Um, but definitely coming out the other side of that and, and, and having that win on the other side. Uh, the Empress to me, in this she speaks of sort of, um, she speaks of this relationship, the, the fertile potential of this relationship, of it growing, of the positivity. The Nine of Pentacles I have here, which also represents um, abundance as well. And I think, I think that goes that also goes along um, with this relationship. I think this is gonna this is gonna be a good one. Um, so I have the justice card here, um, which can speak to a balance. Uh, trying to keep your because she's got the scales there, um, keeping a proper balance in your life and I have the two of pentacles which also it shows um, juggling so I think it reiterates that as well um, maybe keeping uh, I wonder if it doesn't speak to um, keeping your head in this relationship because I wonder if I wonder if all of this is gonna happen really fast you're gonna be just swept off your feet and you're just going to be like sort of rolling with it every you know it's just you just meet this person this this is so great everything fits you want to um move to the next step you want to commit you want to and it's all happening really fast so i wonder if this almost doesn't speak to um just keeping a balance in all of that um not that it's not that it's a bad relationship just just not getting completely lost um, in, in all the passion along the way. Um, this sun card speaks to a bright future. It speaks to, um, positive things manifesting for you. The Ten of Cups also speaks to, um, abundance in the home life. So I think, I think this relationship is a positive one. Um, I think things are going to accelerate like really quickly in it. I think the relationship's going to go fast. Um, Um, I have the Queen of Swords here, and to me in this read, she speaks of, um, she speaks of sort of, of being honest with yourself, and I think it just speaks of, um, being open in this relationship and talking about things and thinking through things, sort of, uh, logically as well, and not getting completely lost in the emotion as well, because the swords tend to be, um, more analytical than emotional so i think i think that's what that what she speaks to here um the ace of swords i do have though which also speaks to triumph like I, i'm seeing i think this is going to be a very positive relationship i think um i think these cards are cautioning not to get completely lost in the passion um, and get ahead of yourself um, too quickly, I think is what it's going for here. Um, I'm going to get a few more. Yeah, so I got the moon card, which um, tends to speak of things that are, are still hidden, that you haven't seen yet. Um, and the eight of pentacles here uh, tends to be called the apprentice card, and, and a lot of times... It speaks of sort of um, academic learning, but I don't think that's what it speaks to here. I think here it speaks to um, you guys taking the time to learn each other. That's what I think that this speaks to as well. Because I also did get the devil card back here. 
I just wasn't sure how he fit in. Um, I think he speaks to the possibility of completely losing yourself in in the passion and getting swept up in all of it um, and not doing not doing uh, the foundation work um, for the relationship to make it successful um, and being honest um, looking at things a little bit more logically as well uh, making sure you're keeping your lines of communication open you're finding out who this other person is you're giving them time to find out who you are uh, you're both being honest about it um, I got the strength card as well. Um, so I think that might speak to, to a, in this, in this instance, it feels like it speaks to a strong relationship. That's what it feels like to me. It feels like this relationship has the potential to be strong. I think you might, I almost think both of you have a very strong energy. I almost feel like that's what the authority and the devil card represent here too as well. That, um, both you are very passionate. Um, you both have um, a very strong way of being in this world, um, and so combining that is gonna, yeah, it's gonna be like fireworks. Um, and you're gonna just want to just jump in with both feet, and both of you are gonna want to do it. So I feel like the cards are just are just cautioning you to to take the time to get to know each other, to to find out um, all about what that means. Um, because we're all people, we all have baggage, we all have, we all have habits and some of them annoy each other. We just, yeah, we want to make sure that we're, we're taking the time to build a strong foundation for the relationship. Not that we completely jump in and then realize that we just, we can't stand this person on a daily basis, right? So I got the magician here, and I think the magician speaks to, um, I feel like he speaks to both of you in this relationship, that you both have the tools that you need to make this a successful relationship. Um, the Eight of Swords also speaks to me of getting, of getting um, bogged down in emotions and having a tough time seeing things um, from a logical point of view. So again, I think that speaks of of the passion um, that you guys are going to be feeling, the emotions that you'll both be wrapped up in, um, and it speaks to you being able to to look at it, to take a step back and look at it sort of um, realistically, and make sure that you're you're setting a realistic pace uh, for your relationship. Um, I got the three of swords, which tends to indicate a separation, but I think in this point, I think in this reading, it feels more like. Um, more like a warning and i also got the death card a little while back and i wasn't sure how he fit in and i think i think the two of these go together i think the two of these are also a warning um that if you don't if you don't take the time to nurture this relationship properly and all aspects of this relationship i feel like you're not giving it a fair chance to be successful and, and you run the risk of it fizzling out. And I think that would be a shame. Um, I'm going to pull a few more of these. And then I'm going to pull some of these guys. <laughs> okay, thank you, Tarot. That sounds about right. So I got the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Six of Wands. So I'll show you guys what I got here. So the Seven of Pentacles is the Abundance card. And it's harvesting. Um, so it, it speaks to... It speaks to an abundance that you're going to get to harvest, right? So it's it's that positive um, manifestation of what you've been working hard for. And that's what it also speaks to of work, putting the work in for something so that you can then harvest it later. The Four of Wands um, speaks to setting a solid foundation for the future and a happy home. So uh, again, this is sort of ties in with everything. Um, and then the Six of Wands speaks of triumph. So I believe that if you guys do um, put the work in to, to set a solid foundation for this relationship, um, set a realistic pace, and really get to know each other so you don't get completely lost in the passion, I, I think this relationship um, has a good chance of being successful here. I'm going to pull a few a few more of these guys. So 
So I got partnerships and alliances, conflict and defeat, triumphant success, and emotional withdrawal. Um, I think the conflict and defeat and the emotional withdrawal, I feel like these are warnings. And I feel like if you get completely wrapped up in the, in the passion, um, in the emotion, um, there's not just that positive side of things being really emotionally charged in a relationship, like, like passion. Um, I feel like there's also a negative side to that as well. And I feel like that's what, that's what they're wor warning of. Um, uh, getting so lost in, in, in feelings that you're not thinking things through properly, keeping lines of communication open, um, and, and just being able to, to tell each other where you're at in life, what your wants are, what your needs are, uh, see how everything sort of fits in and how you mesh. But I believe that the partnerships and alliances, to me, that shows that this relationship does have the possibility of being successful. Um, it's just a matter if you guys, like I said, you, you're both, you're both very, very strong personality, sorry, very passionate, very high energy people. And so when you guys come together, it is going to be like, it is going to be very passionate. It's going to be the fireworks. It's going to be super emotional. It's going to be just a roller coaster. And you're just going to want to sort of go, go, go and let it run away on you. Uh, the cards are just cautioning uh, to take the time and set a proper foundation for that relationship so that you can really grow it and nurture it. And it can be a really successful uh, long-term thing. All right, guys, I hope that that helped you. Um, if you, if this is something you're going through, please feel free to comment. Um, if the read resonates with you, if you enjoy these reads, please like and subscribe. All right, guys, take care.